press release, news release, or media release. That's what a lot of people want to know before they sit down to type. Some people think it's called a press release if it's going to the print media, like newspapers and magazines. Other people think it should be called a news release because you really have important breaking news to share. Still, other people prefer to call it a media release because that means it serves newspapers and magazines, it serves broadcast media like TV and radio, and it also serves all of the online places where news releases reside, including on the social media sites. So, is it really important what you call it? The answer is no. What is important is the content of the release. Is it interesting? Is it helpful? Is it something people really want to read? So here's what I call it. I did a global monthly search using the Google, uh, Google's free search tool and I found that the term press release gets searched on 1.2 million times a month. The term News release gets searched on 550,000 times a month, and the phrase media release is searched on 135,000 times. So, not surprisingly, the winner, at least in my own mind, is the term press release. Don't worry that media people are going to be insulted if you call it the wrong thing. They're really not. They don't care. They care about the content. So, I'm curious. What do you call it? Explain in the comments section below. I'd love to see what your reasoning is. And again, there's really no right or wrong. It's all a matter of preference. You can get more free tips on publicity and also press releases at my website at publicityhound.com. Come on over. I'd love to see you.